Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? I'm just going to put a little bit of food in for the cows. Because we altered the time scale on this and we are now just six days per full season, obviously it meant that the, um, the total food and everything for the cows has dropped significantly. So I thought I would just dump a little bit of this in here and we've got some water available to tip in a minute. Um, or not tip, we'll just uh, we'll put it in the um, shed in a minute. Straw at the moment is quite low. And we could do with getting some more straw. We, um, we could do is buying some bales of straw, bring that down. But we're not going to worry about the straw for now. First of all, we're going to go and do other things. I just wanted to tip, tip a little bit of food in for there. I'd also like to get another trailer. I don't think this trailer is quite big enough for what we've got in mind for our various different tasks. I'm just going to park that one up there. Incidentally, you very nearly didn't have an episode today. Very, very nearly. We're just going to flick through our machinery here. And... Nope this one. Um, Garala, the map, has got an update on ModHub and so I downloaded and installed the update and then I went to play the game and it just had a big red question mark in place of the picture and it wouldn't work. I click on it and uh, the list of mods would come up and then I click uh, play or start and nothing. It would just go back to the main screen again and that was it so naturally i had a bit of a panic i thought oh no not again we haven't lost the game fortunately though i do now back up the whole save game at least once well i, I back it all up once a week after i've done the week's recordings um on this map and the other map i then do a backup and i overwrite the previous one and so that I've got the latest version all saved. And I've actually started now doing two saves, so I've got the last two two sort of versions of it. So, yes, I was able to go into the mods folder on there and find the previous version and put that back. And everything is all tickety-boo. But, yes, we did have a mad panic for a moment, as I thought, horrifyingly, that this series was going to come to an abrupt end. <laughs> I really, really didn't want it to. So, I mean, that being said, we've only got about five weeks left. We've got, yeah, I think it's it's five, maybe four weeks. This one is drifting around an awful lot. It's always quite light on its feet, this Annaburger. It's, um, it's difficult to manoeuvre around because it does slide a little bit as you sort of move it around. It's very difficult to back it anywhere. So as we can't actually reverse anywhere at the moment... Uh, oh, it was saying that we could empty, and now it's slid... Oh, there we go. Right, now it's saying that we can empty, so... We can start unloading that one so that we can put a little bit of water in. We don't need to put all that much in. There. Okay, so those those two are okay. We could do is a few more trailer loads of um, power food in that, and then it will um, put the right mixtures in. And then we need to get a load of straw. And what I was thinking for the straw is that we will go and get a trailer full from the dealership, and we'll bring it down and we'll do it like that. But we're not going to do that now. No, today we need to cut the trees that we want removed from the map. And there's several trees sort of kicking around that we want to remove. So we're going to go through. And I couldn't decide whether we should go for the blue bike or for the orange bike that we've got in there. So for now, we're going to go for the blue one. And a lot of people said that they'd like to see me using this one a little bit more. So, um, and, and for both colors. Although I think actually the orange one is the one that you would see more commonly if you were traveling around. Um, that being said though, this one is still a nice bike and everybody seems to like these bikes, all of the bikes. So yeah, we've got the bikes and that's what we're gonna use. I was thinking of getting rid of those, but then we've decided that we're not going to actually be plowing up the fields um, or the grass fields, we're gonna leave them. So that one will stay. Now I know it looks like all of the crops in the fields got wasted and they're now withered. It's just, a trick of the eyes, that's all. This is just a purely a trick of the eyes. We don't actually have any withered crops in our fields because the farmers that owned them, they came along and they ploughed them all up. Uh, they didn't plough them. They harvested them and so they, they've gotten all the crops. So you don't need to worry about it. We haven't wasted any crops. It has been pointed out that we shouldn't have done it. Um, but we haven't, technically. <laughs> the farmers did it themselves. So everything's okay. We, we don't need to worry about it. Now, that field there is absolutely full of uh, pylons everywhere, so we're not going to worry about that one. It was this field here we've got, and we've also got this field next to it. 
So we can cut down all of the trees. There is a pylon in the middle of the field, but that one's fine. That one can stay there. So what we're going to do is we will cut down the trees. And then after cutting the trees, we're going to go through with a tractor and the, um, the thingy that I showed you last week. Let me just... Yeah, the, the Brux Chipper. We don't need to cut those up on the top. So we just want to start here and remove this one. So yeah, the question that I asked you all last week was... When we go to South America, which will be very soon, do you want me to take start off the map with 160 cows or 300 pigs? Now, we're starting out fairly well established. That's the whole point of this. Um, that's why we've got all this cash at the moment, which actually is in the wrong currency. I do apologize. So let's just put that onto the correct currency. We should be on kilometers and we should be on euros. There we go. Right. That one can go there. And if we just run down here and we grab this tree, then we can move our bike. Um, so, yes, I asked you, did you want the 160 cows uh, completely established with all the necessary machinery and everything to look after them? Or did you want me to do 300 pigs with everything there ready to look after them? And we had 2,158 votes on that one. And I had quite a lot of different opinions on it. Um, several people did say that they thought that we should do pigs because we haven't done them for a while. And we're doing cows on time lapse. We're doing cows on here. We're doing cows on the Unrealistic series. So, yeah, we, we could do with a bit of a change. Um, however, by the time... I'd, I'd just point out that by the time we get to there, we... I mean, the time lapse has still got a little way to go. Um, it's got, I think it's about another 10 weeks to run. Because I'm, I'm aiming for 44 episodes. That's what I've decided that I'm going to aim for 44 episodes. So I'd like to sort of get everything finished by the 44th episode. Um, so as we've... Oh, and the, um, the the whole thing with the leaves. I did point that out to you last time. It's come up again. It That, that will always happen with the season. If you cut the tree down and then you exit and you save back in. Um, you exit and save and then come back in you will get the, the leaves on any trees that have been cut. Standard trees that are just left, not a problem. But any that have been cut, you will get that problem. So yeah, um, of the 2,158 people, 369 want to see pigs, 1,789 want to see cows. So it's a, a clear winner for cows. Um, people did say that, you know, we should switch to pigs because cows is on everything at the moment. Um, when we move, we'll be moving with the Unrealistic series at the same time. Now, we're going to do a couple of weeks on the new South American map Unrealistic series. And it's only going to be a couple of weeks. We're not going to do a great deal there. We're just going to kind of have a, a play around with the Sugar Beat, see what it has to offer, and then we're going to leave it. So, only, literally just a couple of weeks for that one. And then, once we've done that, uh, we'll be moving to a new map. Hopefully, it'll be the Australian one by that point. And we will be doing pigs. Pigs is going to be our big priority on that map. So you'll see lots of pigs on there. And then when we finish up the time lapse, which is going to be about 10 weeks or so. So it'll be before Christmas. Um, maybe a month after the new map comes out. We'll then be moving to Sandy Bay. That's the, the next plan. And from sort of putting out a few feelers, asking what people may or may not want. It does appear that everybody does still want Sandy Bay. And so we'll be moving there. We won't be using the mods, uh, the Seasons mod, and I'm on the wrong side of the road for this part of the world. Um, we won't be using Seasons mod, and we will be concentrating on pigs on that map. So there's going to be lots of pigs. So I'm kind of glad that you ended up not picking it. I didn't actually think about this when I first suggested it, but I am kind of glad that you didn't end up picking pigs. So we will have a bit of a variety. There will be a, a few selections available. Right. I was thinking that we could remove these trees, but there's a load of rocks around this one. So we'll leave those trees there in the middle just to help identify the edges. And we will remove those two trees there. They can come out. Um, so, yes, we'll be starting the South American map with 160 cows. I will have a few fields bought and ready and uh, so that we can use them for grass. And I will have... Um, I'll probably just have a load of bales bought so that they're ready, that we can like put in for the cows, so that we've got food, straw, everything that is needed ready for them, and so that it's we can sort of get straight into it, and rather than having to spend ages getting them all set up and worrying about it, because sometimes that can take quite a while to get everything ready, and I'm going to do this one from standing point, which is way up here. I'll take that one down there. So yes, we will be doing that with the cows rather than the pigs and you will be seeing pigs on 
other maps, so fear not, those of you who did want pigs, it will still be happening. Now, just run over here. Of course, whoop, they're going a little bit crazy. Right, we need to find more trees. What else do we need to cut down? We've got, oh, there's a whole line of them here. So we're going to take out this whole line here by the look of it. And then all of this can be turned into one big field. Now, we can't do any plowing during the winter. It doesn't actually let us. And I don't know why, because the ground's not actually frozen at the moment. The air is frozen, but the ground is not. But it still doesn't allow you to do any plowing. So we'll just have to sort of live with that. And what do I want to do here? I think actually we could do with removing this tree. I know that we're going to have those little branches sort of stuck up in the crop a little bit. But I'm thinking that we'll probably be able to work around that. So if we can remove this one here and go like that there. Um, so yes, we've got cows established as what we're going to be doing on the next map. And... So what I'm wondering when we do it, because we're not going to be using seasons, we won't be sort of altering the time very much and, um, you know, different ways that we're going to be doing things. So if you take a look here, we've got these various options. Now, um, I normally keep all of these off, helper, refill, fuel, seed, fertilizer, at slurry, all of that. That stays off, so we have to do it ourselves. At the moment, we've got fertilizer state one on here because I was having to do most of it um, off camera. And I didn't want to do that. Plant withering. Uh, with seasons, you've got to have it on. Normal, I will have that off. I don't like having plant withering on just in case, you know, we get sidetracked by various different things. Okay. And we've got all these different other bits. So my question this time is about the time scale that we use when we get to South America. Now, um, what we have done previously is we've done it on normal time speed and then sped up... Um, in between the jobs that we're not doing and we've also tried doing it on five times speed and sort of leave that continuous and then skip the night when we need to skip the night now i'm thinking that, that the five times speed is not that great it, it's all right but we tend to we miss out on some things and we do we get some things done so i'm wanting to avoid five times speed if possible so what i'm thinking is we'll either do it on standard speed just normal speed and then skip in between the bits that we don't want to do or we could do it on 15 times speed and just leave it on 15 times speed fast forwarding through the night when we um when we want to if we've gotten our various tasks done if i have it on normal time speed i will put it on to the um plant growth or oh, it's off on there at the moment so you can have normal plant you can have slow plant growth which takes a couple of days for anything to grow you can have normal plant growth. I think slow is three days, normal is two days, and one is just a single day for all the plants to grow completely from start to finish. So if I'm on 15 times speed, I was actually thinking it would be better to run it on um, either normal or slow. And then if I'm on standard speed, I was still thinking normal because um, if you have it on fast time speed, it, you can get the, the situations where you keep getting like separate um, growth stages in the fields. So I'm thinking that we'll go for normal uh, normal time scale with one times uh, time speed. Uh, yeah, you know, um, norm, yeah, norm, normal plant growth, I should say. Nor, um, normal plant growth with one time speed or uh, slow plant growth with 15 times speed. So I want to know which of those two you want, basically. <laughs> it's very long windy to go about what, saying that, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of trying to explain my reasons for picking these two. So it's what I'm trying to do at the same time. Um, do you want to see 15 times speed? And we try to sort of juggle the various tasks that we have to do. If I leave the bike there and cut the tree down, I'm going to end up dropping the tree on the bike, aren't I? So if we move the bike up here out of the way, up. <laughs> it, it is very sort of bouncy, this bike, at times, isn't it? So let's just leave the bike there so it's a little bit out of the way. And then we can take this tree down. There we go. And ooh, there we go. I got it. Um, yeah, so 15 times speed. I think 15 times speed could be interesting. Um, people have suggested it previously because it would sort of work out to being one episode per... Um, you know, a, a day would take an episode. And so we would sort of have to work around that. 
Um, we, we couldn't really extend it very much. We couldn't run too long on it because we've got this time, this sort of hard, fast time limit of one day per episode. But I'm, I'm sort of thinking, well, we could, you know, do part of a day and then fast forward through the night and then do another part of the day. So I, I think there are various options available. So I'm not sort of ruling anything out, but the 15 times speed I think could be interesting. We have done one time speed several times. Uh, but that being said, there's a reason we did that, and that is because that's what everybody voted for. So, because it's quite pop, well, it was quite popular. So I don't know if it's still quite popular or not. So that is my question for this week. When we move to South America, do you want me to go and do one times speed with normal plant growth, like we've done previously, and probably will end up doing again if you know on other maps? And it's also how I generally try to run the time-lapse series, uh, when I'm not using seasons, that is. So do you want me to do it like that? Or would you prefer me to run it at 15 times speed, not slow it down, not for any reason? Uh, so if we have, like, odd plant growth, if we, if the, and, and slow, it'll be slow plant growth. So we, we can, like, get planting done during the day. Um, but if we don't get, if, we, if we've decided that we're going to do, like, a, it's, it's planting time, um, and we don't get it all finished, then we're going to have to, like, leave it with part of the field, something like that. So it's sort of going to put a bit of a, um, it's going to put a bit more of a challenge to it than we would normally have because we've got to achieve certain tasks within certain time frames. And, um, I, you know, I think that could sort of produce a little bit of an extra element of gameplay. Obviously, to start with, our main element of gameplay is going to be exploring some of the new machinery and that's one of the reasons that we're starting the new map with so much money we're going to have a pile of money we're going to have uh, everything available to us so that we can explore all of the new stuff that's going to be available and um, sort of take a look at the new types of trailers tractors sprayers and of course the sugar cane we definitely want to be doing that so but you know whilst we're exploring that there's got to be some other options as well so yeah do you want 15 times speed and slow plant growth or do you want a normal uh plant growth and i'm just wondering if i should plow that uh, take that tree out i think we will i think we'll remove that one normal plant growth and one time speed it's your vote it's your game head in the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget that she cast your vote in the top right hand corner now, last week, a few people did say they don't like the Brux Chipper. They think that I should be cutting these trees up properly and doing the whole job properly because the Brux Chipper is very unrealistic. I quite agree. It is very unrealistic. However, I'm not going to be doing it like that because um, it's going to take too long. It, it takes far too long for me to go and cut the trees up and then manually do everything with it it really takes far too long and the problem is most people don't want to sit and watch that that is the reason i don't do things like that it's because most people are not interested in sitting and watching something like that unfold in front of them um, they are interested in me sort of paying it uh, paying it homage and doing a little bit but then once we've done a little bit uh, we, we kind of want to move on and we want to go and do something different we don't want to stay doing just something like that absolutely no way so because of that and because of people's sentiments on the subject i am not going to be um removing these trees in any way realistically we're just going to go through and we're going to cut them all down with a chainsaw and then we're going to hoik them all out of it with the brox chipper nice and simple and easy so we we shouldn't have very many more to remove we've got a line here that we want to take out and then once we've taken this line here out we've got uh, i don't think there's many more there is a i think there's a couple of trees in some of the original fields that we had but most of those have already been taken care of and we do have I, I, yeah there was like a couple of trees up by where the pig farm is that we're never actually going to use right what's going on here we want to put that there we go um I don't think there was any near the cows. There was some near the cows. But the thing is that we, because we've decided we sort of requisitioned that one field for placeables and stuff, that field is no longer sort of valid. And so the trees that are separating the two fields there don't really matter. They can just stay where they are. Um, which does mean, I think, that this line up through here is one of the last lots that we're going to do. Because field 47 and field 48, they're kind of separate. Uh, these bushes that we do have left over uh, in between the fields is 
it's a little bit annoying, but there isn't really a great deal that we can do about it. But one thing that I am hoping for FS19 is that we will be able to remove more shrubbery. I would like to see shrubbery. That's what I would like to see. And I don't want, you know, that there's various different things. Obviously, we would like to see uh, more deformable terrain. It would be a lot more realistic if we could have things like that. But, you know, really what I want to be able to do is to remove a hedge. I want to be able to go through and cut down a hedge. I want to remove all of the trees that are in a hedge and then cut all of the undergrowth out as well. So we got like weeds and stuff, you know, we can cut down weeds. If weeds grow in your grass field, your hay is going to be of poorer quality. Things like this, 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 um, this little bush that's grown up here, I'd like to be able to cut that one out. You wouldn't do that with a chainsaw, you could do that with something else, maybe just a brush cutter or something like that. So there are like specialist brush cutters that you would have to use in order to do it, but I think that would be absolutely awesome. I would also like to see... Ooh. What was that? Something was very... Something on the side. I just heard this very strange noise just then as I cut. And it sort of high-pitched whine and then went... Doink! I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but it, yeah, it kind of... It, it just... I just had my dream come true. I, ju I just wished for it and it just disappeared when I used the chainsaw. I wish for the wrong thing! Is it too late to take it back? I wish I could win the lottery. I wish I could win the lottery. No, still no lottery win. Right, okay. <laughs> um, I, I wish for the wrong thing. Why did I wish for that? Oh, I can't believe I just did that. That was brilliant. I've no idea what it was that just cut. Absolutely not a clue, but that, that was absolutely awesome. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and also rocks, you know, like the big rock up there beside the next tree up there. I've, I'd love to be able to just go along and remove the rock, you know, dig it up, take it out of the way, blast it with dynamite, whatever it might take. Now, uh, that rock I don't think is going anywhere, so I think we'll leave the tree there as well, and then we'll sort of have to plow around it or something like that, because uh, we're, we're not going to be able to get through it. So if we leave that tree there, now I'm going to very quickly flick through because I think it will be quicker and easier if we do it like that. Now, we've removed that line of trees, and this line of trees here doesn't make any difference because it's right next to a track, and the other side of field 47 is the same, it's all uneven ground, and then you've got field 48, and I think 49 has a track running next to it as well, so we can't really do anything over there. Um, oop, careful, steady, easy now. Um, I'd like to hear your views on what you think you'd like to see in FS19. Now, obviously, I would like more crops. I definitely want more crops. I want to be able to have oats, rye, um, and vegetables as well. Uh, you know, um, not just potatoes and sugar beet. I'd like to see carrots, onions, and various other vegetables, just to make life a bit more interesting. So there's various different crops like that that we could have added into the game. I think it would be really, really cool if it was. See, none of this needs to be cut up because it's all joined together. We will go up here, and I think there's a tree or two that we want to remove up on this side. Um, around, yeah, around the pig farm over there. What would you like to see in the game? And um, Crops is something that's quite high on my list, but really I'd like to be able to remove hedgerows and stuff. I'd like um, more interactive plants and that. So, like, we've got this hedgerow all the way down through here. I'd like to be able to chop it out. I'd like to be able to remove stones, um, fill the pond. So I could come along here and I could physically fill the pond up. I could dig some earth out from somewhere else, come along, physically level that pond off and remove the trees and the rocks and the shrubs there and compact it down. It would have to be some sort of compaction thing that you would have to be able to do and then be able to uh, use that ground. I think that would be such an awesome feature. To, I know that what I'm asking is sort of, it is very complex. It is a very, very complex sort of thing um, to be able to do something like that, but I still think it would be absolutely incredible. It really would. So as we are in the beginning of October and last year FS17 came out, I think FS17 actually came out uh, it was about the third or fourth week of October, wasn't it? I think it was. 
Um, I don't think it. I don't think it waited until November. It may. I mean, it might have. It might have. But I think it was actually still in October. So we're we're, we're nearly a year. We're nearly a year that this one's been out, and sites are now sort of. No, my bike. Oh no, sites are now. Oh, it just it just missed. That was close. Sites are firmly set on the future now, and people are talking more and more about FS19 and what it might have to offer, especially now that. Um, pure farming they're releasing various um, bits of information about what's going to be turning up in that game and we've got cattle and crops have released their um, look at uh, what is it uh, forage harvesting and I was actually able to get it to work and I'm hoping to be able to do a video later this week just to take a look at it and give you my first impressions on what that one's like um, I don't know if I'm you know, how much I'll do yet uh, uh, well, I will take a look at it a few other channels have taken a look at it and we'll sort of see what it's like um, but obviously that's a tech demo and a tech demo is completely different to like a first look now I think uh, Dagwin has been looking at pure farming and I think it's the the beta that he's gotten involved in with there um, so he's able to show like coffee bean harvesting and grape harvesting and, and stuff like that now I did notice that there were several elements of the gameplay in that pure farming that seem to sort of, they're very similar to each other, the grapes and coffee beans and stuff, it's its using a lot of the same technology and stuff, so I don't think that it would be that difficult, and I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, likes of grape harvesting, coffee beans, currants and um, things like that that are harvested with those row, like row crop, you know, the machines that straddle the rows, I don't know what they're called actually. Um, I would not be surprised if we see those in FS19. Um, I wouldn't actually be surprised if we start to see some of those introduced in FS17 in uh, future updates because we've got various future updates still to come out yet um, that, that haven't come through yet. So what what are you wanting to see? Right, that's 900. We've only got 6 ton. It's not really worth a bother. Um, we will sell those two and it's the second stage of winter that these three reach their best prices. So... Uh, the barley and the canola is the ones that we're going to be selling. Now, I think the 1,800 is actually pretty good. So we might move some of the grain to one of the trains in the next couple of episodes. However, at the moment, I think we have cut down every tree that we want to cut down. So our next task is going to be getting the Brooks Chipper and a trailer and then getting it all loaded up and what I've decided to do is I'm going to make a great big heap in the middle of the field where I started tipping a few last time so we're not going to want to we're going to be using two tractors I think we're going to use uh, well I say we're going to be using two tractors the only problem with that is that the Brooks Chipper doesn't seem to like um, a trailer being pulled alongside it it only seems to like a trailer that's um stop is it gonna let me off yes um it only seems to like trailers that are um well actually it doesn't seem to like trailers at all i haven't actually tried a trailer on the back so that's something that we are going to attempt now the tipper that we've got is quite small so i was thinking to go for something a bit bigger and we've got various different tippers we've got all kinds of trailers for all kinds of situations and circumstances and i really don't know which one to pick um I do know that I'm not going to pick which one is it? Uh, is it that one? I think no, it's not the Met Court. It's not the. It might actually be the Ace Ten trailer there. It's not that one. There is a trailer here that we cannot pick, not for any reason. The Marshall is the one that we're using, and I got a feeling that maybe I haven't actually got the one here. There is a couple of trailers that we can't pick because I've modified them ever so slightly for the Unrealistic series, so we're not going to want those. Now, Agriliner. Kruger Agriliner is a European brand, solid in the middle of Europe, and I think we're going to use that one. I mean, we could use Crone, actually. Crone, we don't... We haven't used... You know what? We haven't actually used Crone, so we're going to use Crone. We're going to buy that one there. That trailer is the one that we're going to use for our wood chips because we could also be using then that one for grain and stuff later because obviously we are upgrading everything needs to be bigger and it'll give us a chance to get started with this one so we want a front weight now i've got a blue front weight that was to go with the uh, new holland and the new holland isn't using it because the new holland is using another machine so let's get a red front weight for the case now i'm sure i'm not the only person that color matches some of their front weights I'm sure there are other people that do this as well, but I've, 
I'm, I've worked on various farms, and some farms will just have them all as grey. Some farms do actually colour match all of their front weights with their tractors. So I think Case. Uh, is Case the bright red, or is that a slightly dark? I think it's that red there for Case. So let's buy that one. A 2.3 tonne front weight as... Uh, you know what? I'm not sure that that's actually a matching colour. Let's just back up a little bit so that we're in the right place, and then we can hitch it on. There we go and lift it up and move forward so i'm not going to actually start doing the wood chipping today we will start on that tomorrow just back up there my question for this week is when we get to the next map which is going to be the south american map how would you like me to do the time scale on the map because we're not going to be using seasons i think that's a matching color i'm looking and i'm trying desperately to see if that's actually a matching color and i'm genuinely not sure so yeah, how would you like me to do the uh, time scale on the next map? Would you like me to do it as one time speed with normal plant growth, doing whatever tasks we want to do and then skipping ahead to the next stage? Or would you prefer me to do it on 15 times speed with slow plant growth? Now 15 times speed means that we're obviously going to be more limited to what we can accomplish during one day and if the plant growth stages move on too far then we, you know we'll stop we're not going to be wanting to plant a field that is ready to harvest at the other end we're not going to be sort of starting to plant and it's ready to harvest before we finish doing the planting i'm, I'm, I'm don't, i don't want that so we're going to have to try to avoid that which means it's going to be a little bit more tricky plant withering will stay off i don't like having plant withering on um just in case you know because there's various different aspects that can get quite tricky um so you know, we'll, we'll just avoid the plant withering just for simplicity's sake. So yeah, would you like the one time speed and normal pla uh, normal plant growth? Or would you like to have 15 times speed and slow plant growth? It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. And... Could we? No, we can't actually join. I'm, I'm zooming right out now so that we can just take a, a little panoramic view around. And it doesn't look like there is anything else that we can join by any more trees being cut down. That is it. So we are ready to start cutting the, um, shredding the trees. So we're going to head over this way. And, um, well, we're going to need the, the chipper over here as well. We, we'll get them to follow in a minute. So we, we'll do that. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.